Today is our fourth day in Paris. If you've been following along at all, you'll know that we have not had the best of luck with seeing as much of the city as we wanted to, mostly because of our poor planning. But today we are totally making up for that because we are going on an eight hour Vespa tour with Ride and Smile. I can't think of a better way to see all of the major sites in Paris than from a Vespa. It's gonna be awesome. If you watch any of our Italy videos, you'll remember how much Nate fell in love with the Vespa. I'm so excited and they're here to pick us up. Tom. Ride and Smile picked us up on this awesome yellow Vespa and we're about to get started. The first place we're going is somewhere that has an awesome view of the city. So the right there would be like 30, 35 minutes. Perfect. Up we go! <laughs> Paris streets are a little more intimidating than the backcountry Italy roads. <laughs> It looks old, but actually this is one of the youngest church in Paris. It's only 125 yeah. years old. We just drove 30 minutes to our first stop, which is this huge hill with this huge basilica on top, overlooking Paris, and it's awesome. I was like a little intimidated this morning to get on the Vespa in the big city because the traffic in Paris looks crazy. But once you get on the road, it was not near as bad as I thought it was going to be. It was so much fun. And our guide Tom was taking us on all these little back alley roads. It was so cool. We are in for an incredible day. So yesterday it rained the whole day and I was so scared that today it was gonna be rainy and cold and we woke up to the most beautiful, warm, sunny morning. So I just could not be happier right now. We are now in a department store, but not to shop. We're here for the view. Tom said some people prefer this view over the last one we had. I never would have known to come up here. This is awesome. I think from this rooftop we can see pretty much everything. Yeah. yeah, definitely my favorite view in Paris. If you come to Paris, you should definitely come to this department store. I think this is the first time that I've ever recommended a department store on the vlog. How do you pronounce it? Gary Lafayette. So that's where you have to come. I wasn't even gonna try that one. We're at the Opera House. So it took the architect 15 years to, to build the opera and eventually during the uh, grand opening ceremony uh, he wasn't even on the list and he had to pay his own tickets, which was a bit rude. <laughs> The, what's the pillar that they've built? So just right, just right there you have the Vendome column. So it was put there by Napoleon the First. Actually, if you look just uh, right up to the top here, you can see him. So this massive column that's in the middle of the square was actually made out of the enemy's cannons. They melted them all down and created this column that symbolizes victory out of the enemy's cannons, which is just awesome. Not for the people who lost. <laughs> for the guy on top. If you look at this building just right here, this is the former embassy of Texas. No. So before Texas was part of the United States, they were their own country. 
and France was one of the first other countries to recognize them as their own and give them an embassy. Ah. But that's why the the embassy of Texas. Oh. Now it's your hotel. <laughs> <laughs> that's crazy. Oh my gosh. This is the very beginning of the metric system for uh, our country. So we just learned that after the French Revolution, the French switched to the metric system. And this is like the beginning of the metric system for the French because nobody had any idea what a meter was. So they placed these around the city to show people what a meter was. And he said there's only like two of them left in the city now. Before the metric system, people were using the button. So how old is this? I'm more or less 200. 200 yeah, so years old. Yeah. This Rolls Royce behind us. Next, we're going to the Louvre. We finally made it to the Louvre after our failed attempt yesterday. Not going inside, just like looking around. Because there's like the glass pyramid that's in all the cool movies. So, this whole thing is the museum. This old thing is the museum, exactly. That's insane. I am like blown away by how big it is. Hey. This is the biggest um, museum in the world. Really? So. I didn't realize that. I Me either. knew it was like one of the most famous, but I didn't realize yeah, just how big one. it is. The line to go into the Louvre is so long. This Vespa tour is like my perfect style. I love like show up, see it, learn a quick thing about it, let's see the next thing. <laughs> yeah. I just get tired of like listening and listening. <laughs> it is a great mix. Tom's a great guy. Now Tom is taking us to get some lunch. <laughs> On va vous prendre deux mix jambon de pays saint nectaire. Going to find somewhere to eat our sandwich. Started raining a little bit, but we still don't have a bad view for lunch. All right, we're having a traditional French baguette sandwich. It has butter, ham, and a very strong cheese. First French fries in France. The baguettes were delicious, and we're back on the road. I love Vespas. So all of those flags that you saw in the top of the church were from armies that the French kings had defeated. So after they defeated somebody in battle, they would take the enemy's flag and they would come and they would hang it in the top of the church. They looked like so old. That, that was really, really neat. And I didn't recognize like any of them because most of the nations slash provinces slash whoever they were don't exist anymore. Trini again. We have ponchos. No problem.
Can you tell where the poncho covered? <laughs> Everything from here? Uh, so we just ducked into the Marriott Hotel. We picked up some eclairs and we're about to eat dessert and not be hurry. My first French chocolate eclair. Whoa. And Sun came back out for the last leg of our tour. I'm so happy. Now we're on a big bridge. The sun feels so good. Feeling back in the hands, in the face. So this is the famous Paris Lock Bridge, but it's actually the new Paris Lock, Bri Lock Bridge. So this has only been here for like two years. The old one is back that way, just like one bridge over, and the locks got so heavy that they had to cut them all off because it was compromising the structural integrity of the bridge. And so all of the locks that you see here have been put here like the past two-ish years. A lot of locks. That was so much fun. Yeah, I hope you, you had fun, guys. It was, a blast. It was the best. Yeah. Hope you saw most of the place you wanted to see. Oh, yeah. Well, for the first time Everything. in Paris, it's not that bad. <laughs> no, we Seriously. saw so much today. We made up for the three days where we didn't see anything. <laughs> Donate, thank, thank you very you much. So much. Thank you so, so much. Thank you so much. Such a good day, such a good way to see Paris, especially if you only have like a little bit of time, you have to do the tour because we saw like everything in Paris in one day. It was awesome. And festivals are incredible. We had such a fun time with Tom today, getting to know him and about his company. It actually has a really cool story. So Tom used to have friends who would come to Paris and anytime his friends came to Paris, they would want to get shown around. He had a Vespa at the time and he would take his friends around on the back of the Vespa and they all raved about how incredible it was getting to see Paris from a Vespa. And then Tom and his friend went and traveled for a year and when he came back, he was like, what am I gonna do? And so he started a Vespa company. Thank you so much, Tom and Ride and Smile. Seriously, if you're in Paris, definitely check them out. If you wanna see like everything, this is like the perfect way to do it. We'll link all their stuff in the description below. Care out of Tom so she could get some cool shots of me on the Vespa. That's where she went. We didn't leave her behind back at the lunch place. We just drove Vespas to the Louvre. I don't know how this day gets much more, much more better. We just drove Vespas to the Louvre. Sorry about that. Whoops. <laughs> 